One little girl in a pale pink coat turd. Hey, hey, hey. Concert hall. What concert hall, Uncle Max? Any concert hall, maybe Kaltzberg Concert Hall, but a concert hall that is full of people. Well, let's try it again. sing loud for Uncle Max. At the night of the party, you sang so beautifully, with such spirit. Wow. Let's try again. Mention Fraulein Maria. Come on, Max. I feel like a brisk walk. <sighs> that is just what I need. Is anybody using the car? <laughs> so, what are we going to sing? Any of your jokes on Fraulein Marie? Only those she liked and laughed at. You didn't put toads in her bed? No, Father. Well, something must have happened for her to leave us without even saying goodbye. Isn't Fraulein Marie coming back? No. Not this time. But she was the best governess we've ever had. You're not going to need a governess anymore. Oh, good. I'm not sure that's a good thing. <laughs> You're going to have a new mother. A new mother? Frau Schrader? Yes. It was all decided yesterday. I'm very happy. <laughs> now, it's time for your afternoon walk. Fraulein Maria wanted us to feel better. She would sing that song, remember? Yes. All right, let's try it. <coughs> 
raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Why do I feel better? Dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. Maria, yes, Maria, Maria. 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 winters have melted into snowflakes. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad. And I must speak to your father right away. I'll go find him. I'll come with you. How is your sore finger? You remember. Oh, oh. Lisa, are you all right? Yes, Fraulein. I'm all right. Many telegrams lately? No, Fraulein. I'll be glad to go to boarding school. Lisa, you can't use boarding school to escape your problems. You have to face them. <laughs> uh, I have so much to talk to you all about. We have some things to tell you. I'm sure you have a great deal to tell me. I guess the most important thing is father's going to be married. Married? To Frau Schrader. Are you sure? Oh yes, he just told us. He told us himself. We found him! Weasel? Louisa, forget it, boys! Maria, we'll be in the nursery. You're back. Yes, Captain. You left without any explanation. Without even saying goodbye. It was very wrong of me. Forgive me. Why did you do this to us? Please, don't ask me. Anyway, the reason no longer exists. So you're here to stay? Only until you can make arrangements for another governess. No! The, ch the children need you. I've. Everyone missed you very much. Nothing was the same while you were away. Everything was wrong. I, I we can discuss don't... this later. Go up to the children now. Maria. We have a new postulant. <laughs> I know, I'm right, Max. We'll find him and ask him. I'll take your word for it, Elsa. Oh, Gail, settle this for Max and me, will you? How far down the mountain does your property go? Can you make out that stone wall? That is the property line. You see? Well, I didn't argue about it. I know, and that makes me furious. Yeah. I don't like to win without a fight. Or don't I? You have a call from Berlin. <laughs> Berlin? <laughs> who could be calling me from Berlin? They said you'd know who it was. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Franz. Georg, what were we just talking about? Max, this isn't your first call from Berlin. You, you know that I have no political convictions. Can I help if others have? Let's not stir that up again. The Germans have promised not to invade Austria, Max knows. Then why does he bother to answer those calls from Berlin? Because if they don't keep their promises, I want to have some friends among them. Naturally. So you agree. Okay. This is how I see it. There was a man who was dying. They were giving him his last rites, and they asked him, Do you renounce the devil and all of his works? And he said, at this moment, I prefer not to make any enemies. <laughs> Kaor, if they, if they should invade us, would you defy them? Yes. Do you have any idea what might happen to you? 
to your property, to your children, to everyone you know, to Elsa, to me. Well, what will you do if they come? What anyone with any sense would do. Sit tight and wait for things to blow over. And you think it will. But there's one thing that is for sure. Nothing you can do will change anything. Don't look so serious, darling. Take the world off your shoulders. Relax. You dear, attractive, dewy-eyed idealist. Today you have to learn to be a realist. You may be bent on doing deeds of daring do. But up against a shark, what can a herring do? Be wise, compromise. Compromise and be wise? Let them think you're on their side, be non-committal. I will not bow my head to the men I despise. You won't have to bow your head, just stoop a little. Why not learn to put your faith, your real life, on an obvious and simple fact of science? A crazy planet full of crazy people. Is somersaulting all around the sky. In every time it turns another somersault, another day goes by. And there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop it, no, you can't stop it even if you try. So I'm not going to worry, no, I'm not going to worry. Every time I see another day go by. While somersaulting at a cockeyed angle, we make a cockeyed circle round the sun. And when we circle back to where we started from, another year has run. And there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop it if the earth wants to roll around the sun. You're a fool if you worry, you're a fool if you worry over anything but mental number one. That's you, that's I, and I, and we, that all-absorbing character, that fascinating creature, that super special feature, me. So every star and every whirling planet, and every constellation in the sky, all around the center of the universe, a lovely thing called I. And there's no way to stop it, and there's no way to stop it, and I know, no, I cannot tell you why. thing alone we agree. Each man is important to himself. But you can't save yourself by giving up. And you don't outwit a lion by putting your head a call from a lead, sir. In the lion's mouth! I'll call them back. You might as well talk to them now, Max. Go, go. I know what's going to happen here. Can't you see things my way? No. Not if you're willing to see things their way. There's one thing you do better here than we do in Vienna. The sunsets. I'm going to miss them. Captain, 
The children would like to know if they could take a holiday from their lessons tomorrow so that we could go on a picnic. Yes, I don't mind. That will make them very happy. And may I be permitted to wish you happiness too, Frau Schrader, Captain. The children have told me that you're going to be married. Oh, well. I'm afraid the children were wrong. Georg, I've got to finish my packing if I'm going to get back to Vienna. Well, if you feel you must, I'll tell Franz to have the car ready. I can do that. A Peter Zane, Georg. If I said something I shouldn't have said. Well, you did say the wrong thing. But you said it at the right time. The children told me we're going to marry Frau Schreider. We found we just couldn't go the same way. That door is shut. Sister Margareta always says that when God shuts a door... Yes, I know. He opens a window. Maria. Why didn't you run to the Abbey? Why did you come back? The Reverend Mother, she said that you have to look for your life. Yes. And oftentimes, you don't recognize it. No. Then one day, one night, it stands before you. Yes. Maria. I stand here before you and I, I recognize this is not something that has just happened. It's something that's been deep inside me for, for many weeks. You felt it too. What was it that told you? Brigida. She said that night when we were dancing. She was quite right. That was no ordinary dance, was it? I hadn't danced since I was a very little girl. It's quite different when you're all grown up, isn't it? Maria, when you were a very little girl, did a very little boy ever kiss you? Uh-huh. That's quite different, too. Is it? It is different. <laughs> Maria, your whole life is going to be different now. I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I'll give you anything you wish. But I don't want to go anywhere. All I could wish for is right here. Oh. 
You know, we should get those two together sometime. Who? The Mother Abbess and Brigida. <laughs> Margareta, 
I don't think she's had time to put the linings in yet. Sister Bertha's a mirror. <laughs> Reverend Mother, I look... Don't be vain, my daughter. I'll say it for you. You look absolutely beautiful. Because that is when... Here, Dad, one. Could you help me, please? The gall lighter is here. He's wondering why we haven't hung the new flag. Hi! I, I tried to explain. Be quiet. When is Captain Von Trapp returning? <laughs> Who knows? When a man is on his honeymoon, you'll never get... These are not times for joking. The Anschluss happened four days ago, and your house is the only house in the province not flying the new flag of the Third Reich. You mean the flag with the black spider on it? Do you permit such remarks in this house? Who are you? I am Maximilian Detweiler, first secretary of the Ministry of Education and Culture. That was the old regime. 
In the old regime, I was third secretary. Now I am first. Good. You will order Captain Von Trapp to fly the new flag. The captain wouldn't. That is, I take my orders from Captain Von Trapp. You will take your orders from us. And so will the captain. Heil. Heil. Why was he so cross? Everybody's cross these days. Is father going to be in trouble? Uh, he doesn't have to be. The thing to do nowadays is to get along with everybody. Uncle Max, are you sure that's going to be all right with father? He'll be pleased and proud. Liesl, do you think so? Brigitte, don't you trust me? No. <laughs> well, anyways, the bus leaves at 11. Caroline Liesl, see what I have here. It's Father's luggage! So come on! Liesl, they'll have such a lot to tell us. Let's not hurry into telling them about anything. I didn't expect to see you back here until next week. Max, it is great to see you. There's much I want to know. Yes, I bet. Oh, children, we've missed you so much. What did you miss the most? We miss all that noise we make in the morning. That noise you make telling each other to be quiet when we're supposed to be in bed. Or just climbing upstairs to say goodnight. And we missed hearing you sing. Oh. You came back just in time to hear us sing. Look, Father, we're going to be singing in the Kultzburg Festival Friday night. Max? Yes? You're responsible for this, aren't you? Oh, Georg! I was just meaning to talk to you about this. I talk your way out of this one. Uh, children, there are presents inside for you. Presents? Yeah. I want mine. Go, go no, away. No, mine. Oh, mine. Oh, mine. Oh, mine. Oh, 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 mine. Oh, 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 now, Georg, I had to make a last minute decision. I was lucky enough to be able to enter them in the festival at all. Seven children in one family. Not my family. Georg. The committee heard them. They were enchanted. Really, Max? What did they say? You've never heard such praise. Georg, did you hear? The Von Trapp family does not sing in public. But if it makes people happy... And for the festival, people come from all over the world. It is out of the question. Georg, it is for Austria. There is no Austria. But the Anschluss happened peacefully. Let us all be grateful for that. Grateful. To these swine! Maria, he must at least pretend to work with these people. I admire the way he feels, but you must convince him that he has to compromise. No, Max, no. Maria, you must! Max, I can't ask Georg to be less than what he is. Fine, then I will. If these children don't sing in this festival, then, well, it would be a reflection on Austria, and it wouldn't do me any good. Maria, I've always known you love those children. Now I know you love father. Yes, Liesl, I love your father very much. How can you be sure? Uh, because I don't think first of myself anymore. I think first of him. I know now how to spend my love. A bell is no bell till you ring it. A song is no song till you sing it. And love in your heart wasn't put there to stay. Love isn't love till you give it away. When you're 16, going on 17, waiting for love, Start. Somebody kind who touches your mind will suddenly touch your heart. When that happens, after it happens, nothing is quite the same. Somehow you know you'll jump up and go if ever he calls your name. Gone are your old ideas 
of life, the old ideas grow dim. Lo and behold, you're someone's wife, and you belong with him. You may think this kind of adventure never On seventeen, wait a year or two. I'll wait a year or two. to meet you finally. I have a telegram for Captain Von Trapp. You stay here with Liesel, I'll take it to him. I'm under orders to make sure the captain gets it. I think you can trust me to give it to him. I have my orders. Silly, they're married. Franz, <sighs> this telegram is to be delivered into the hands of Captain Von Trapp. Hi. 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 Rolf! Even Franz. Yes, even Franz. Even me, even everybody in Nonberg except the great Captain Von Trapp. If he knows what's good for him, he'll come over to the right side. Rolf, don't talk like that! And if he doesn't, he'd better get out of the country. There are things that happen today to a man like that. He'd better get out quick. <laughs> Cry all you want, just remember what I said before it's too late. And you remember too. Liesel, don't cry. How could he turn on father like that? Liesel, maybe he wasn't threatening your father. Maybe he was warning him. It's going to be all right. Liesel? <sighs> what is it, Georg? I didn't think I would have to make a decision this soon. Berlin has offered me a commission in their navy. Well, Georg? I can't just brush this aside. I admit it would be exciting to have a ship under me again. What I mean is it would be a relief and a comfort to know that you and the children are safe. But that also means that I have to... Maria, please help me. Okay, Lord, whatever you decide will be my decision too. Thank you. I know that I can't do it. Of course not. <laughs> well, I have to get out of Austria right away. You'll have to leave tonight and now. Not without my family. And we can't just pick up and leave. They'll be watching us now. We'll have to plan. We'll have to have time. Yeah. Admiral von Schreiber of the Navy of the Third Reich is here to see. Thank you, Franz. They didn't give us time. Then we'll have to make time. I'll bring them in. We must be careful. What is happening? Stormtroopers? This is exactly what I was afraid of, Maria. Max, you stay here with Gaylord. Liesel, I need the children. Quickly, find the children. Quickly! This way, Admiral, we can speak out here. Admiral von Schreiber, might I present Herr Detweiler? Max, I think you know Herr Zeller. Would you gentlemen care to sit down? We're here on business. Captain Von Trapp, a telegram was sent to you three days ago. I've just received it. I've been away. I've only been home half an hour. Yeah, uh, Captain Von Trapp has just returned from his honeymoon, sir. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you, sir. Your record in the war is very well remembered by his captain. It's nice to hear you say that, sir. Let's get to the point, if you don't mind. In our Navy, we hold you in very high regard. That explains why I am here. Having had no answer to our telegram, the High Command sent to me in person. I'm fully aware of the privilege, sir, but I've had no... I'm here to present you with your commission. I'm completely aware of the honor, sir, but I've had no... And your orders are to report immediately to the naval base at Bremerhaven. Immediately? Oh, I'm afraid that would be impossible for you, Gaylord. Might I present the Baroness Von Trapp, madam? What I mean, sir, is that we are performing Friday night at the Coldsburg Festival. 
You see? The Von Trott family singers here in the program. It's being arranged by the Ministry of Education and Culture. Friday night. This is only Wednesday. That's only a matter of two days. It might be possible. You could report to Bremerhaven by Monday. Admiral. Is there a telephone I can use? Yes. Right this way, Admiral. And if there is any question, perhaps by adding the weight of my voice... It only lists here the names of the children. Uh, it says the Von Trapp family singers. I'm the head of the Von Trapp family. It's hard to believe, Captain. You singing in a concert. Herr Zeller, you may believe what you choose. It doesn't say what you'll be singing. What will you be singing? It's your privilege to come to the concert and hear us, sir. <laughs> I would like to hear you sing now. Sing what you'll sing at the concert. Sing. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Lisa, will you give us a do? Do, a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Fa, a long, long way to run.
gentlemen, thank you. Just a moment. I have an important announcement that concerns you. Our festival concert has reached its conclusion, but we do not yet know what that conclusion is going to be. Our judges are currently putting their heads together to arrive at their decision, but whilst we wait, I think there should be an encore. It appears that this may be the last chance the family Von Trapp will have to sing together for a long, long time. I have just been informed that Captain Von Trapp will leave immediately after the concert for his command in the naval forces of the Third Reich. A guard of honor has arrived to escort him directly from the concert hall to the naval base at Bremerhaven. And now, the family Von Trapp again. distinguished judges. We will start with the third award. For this honor, the judges have named the trio of the Sanger Boon of Herwegen. <laughs> the second award has been given to Fraulein Schweiger, the first soloist of the choir of St. Agatha's Church of Murbach. <laughs> and the first prize, the highest musical honor in the Ostmark, goes to the family Von Trapp. Where are they? The Von Traps. They're gone. Call the guard. Hobsman, take the first road. Ulrich, block the driveway. Steinhardt, call district headquarters. Play something, music man. <laughs> Much longer now. There's only five more rooms to search. How many of them are there? I counted eight officers and a stormtrooper. Oh, Sister Margareta, we had no idea we would oh, yeah. be in so much danger. This is outrageous. The church has always been sanctuary. Not with these people. This is the third time they've searched the abbey. 
That's why we put you outside. They always search inside, but never the gardens. Very quiet. No, darling. We have a long drive ahead of us. Standing there protecting us. Now, they seem to become my enemies. Never, your enemies. Haven't you read? I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Georg, I know these gardens just as well as I know that mountain. Once we're over there, we're in Switzerland. But the children. We can help them. Father, we can do it without help. You'll have help. For ye shall go forth with joy and be led with peace. The hills and the mountains will break forth before you into singing.
once more. <laughs> now, we did this earlier, we did our senior speeches and we thanked everyone, but there is one mom in particular that wasn't able to come up on the stage. <laughs> that wasn't able to come up on the stage during the uh, 2 o'clock show, uh, and that is Christine Dougherty. It's Christine Dougherty. I hope she's here. Okay, she's here. So we already gave you a present, right? You got your present, correct? Okay, good. <laughs> now, <sighs> sorry. <laughs> um, whilst I'm up here, I thought that I should thank Jack, our sound guy. Sound working. I'll thank him again. Tom, our music director. I think he is. Wyatt, he is our assistant director. And I want to thank Mrs. McManus. And I would like Mrs. McManus to come up here wherever she is. Mrs. McManus. Madness is our lovely director. She made this all happen. She got us all here, and I will be saying goodbye. Aww. Seniors, where are all of our seniors? I want to have a senior group hug. Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> McMahon. Okay, she, she probably can't breathe. <laughs> again. Our, my fault, our interns. Only one is here, I believe, and Marissa is here. Your first amateur nurse is here, but Joey Williams, our amazing intern and a great friend. Now the other um, is our crew, of course. All right, where is the crew? Where's the crew so you can be recognized for everything? Uh, they don't like being out on stage, but give them a round of applause. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much to everyone that has come. One thing, we have a winner for the 50-50. The number is 205-820, and you can collect your winnings at the concession stand. And again, thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate you.